Hey there. All right, so this is called Pete's Pattern, and the idea is that we're going to create a T-chart to show Pete the nine ways that he can organize his ten igneous rocks and be sure to label each column. So I have shelf one, shelf two, and the equation. Here's my shelf one, my shelf two. So I already said that I have, um, I started off with ten rocks, but I had to make an equation. So I brought one of the rocks down. So now I have nine rocks on shelf one, and then one rock on shelf two, which gives me an equation nine plus one. So next, I need to bring another rock down. So that means I'm going to have eight rocks up here. I'm going to go on my t-chart. I now have two rocks on shelf two, and my equation is going to say eight plus two equals ten. So all we're doing is looking at the different ways that we can make ten, because there's more than one way. According to this, it says there's nine. So we're going to go to the next one. I'm going to drag another rock down. So now I have seven rocks on shelf one, and I have three rocks on shelf two, which gives me seven plus three equals, say it for me, right, ten. All right. So the last one I'm going to do with you is I'm going to go ahead and pull this other rock down. And now I have six rocks on shelf one, four rocks on shelf two, which gives me the equation six plus four equals ten. You should be seeing a pattern here. So if you look, each time I took one away. So this number decreased. If I took 1 away from 9, that gave me 8. If I took 1 away from 8, it gave me 7. 1 away from 7 is 6. And here, I would add 1 each time. So I had 1 on the shelf, I added 1 more. I had 1 on the shelf, I added, I'm sorry, I had 2 on the shelf, I added 1 more, which gave me 3. I had 3 on the shelf, I added 1 more, I had 4. So there's a pattern. We're going 9, 8, 7, 6, and here we're going 1, 2, 3, 4. What I am noticing, though, is that it never changes how many rocks I have. I start out with 10, and I always end with 10. What I want you to do is I want you to fill out the rest of this based upon if you were to manipulate the rocks yourself. So what number would go here? I would grab this rock. I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to put my number for how many are on the shelf now. And Okay, so now that we're all done, we're going to make sure it's saved. We're going to go to File, I'm going to do Save As, go to Computer. We're going to go to Desktop, and then at Desktop, we're going to create a new folder. And that new folder, you're going to click it, and you're going to put the name Math. And I already have a Math folder, so I'll put Math too. And then you're going to click into that, and then you're going to save this file as Pete's. Pattern, and then your last name. My last name is Scorpio, so we're going to put Scorpio, and then we're going to hit save. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to submit this to Canvas. So once you're all done, you're going to submit it to Canvas. I'm just showing you how to do that, okay? So you're going to submit it to Canvas. I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to select Canvas, and then I'm going to select Submit Assignment. Then I'm going to select Choose File, and mine automatically goes to my folder, but if yours doesn't, you're going to click Desktop. It's in Folder Math, but I made my Math one because I already had a folder. Double click, and then remember, here it is, Pete's Pattern with the, your last name. You double click, and now it's right here. So I'm all ready now to submit it. Sorry, I clicked it on accident. It deleted my file. And then all I'm going to do is submit assignment to the teacher. If you have any questions, let me know.